Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In the video of today we will see a game between Vichy Anand with the white pieces and Gary Kasparov with the black pieces. This game was played uh, the last year in Zagreb in Croatia. So we have e4, Kasparov go goes for uh, c5, the Sicilian defense, then knight f3, d6, and d4. Now the captures on d4, and the Anand captures back with the, the input. Here Kasparov goes for knight f6, we have knight c3, a6, preventing with uh, this move uh, bishop uh, b5. Now uh, white goes for bishop g5, attacking the knight. Kasparov goes for e6. And uh, white goes for f4. Then black goes for queen c7. Here white captures the knight on f6 and black captures back. And then we have queen f3, developing the queen. And black goes for b5. Now the, with the idea of playing b4 and attacking this knight. And here white goes for a3. Black goes for knight c6, now uh, developing the knight. And uh, white castled Queenside. Here um, black uh, captures on d4 and white captures back with the rook on d4. Then uh, black uh, played uh, queen c5 attacking uh, the rook. The rook uh, goes back and uh, here black uh, goes for rook b8. And here we have a b4 for white, attacking the queen. The queen goes back to e7. And here we have f5, but uh, it's a mistake. Here the best move was, uh, for example, moving this bishop to e2, developing the bishop. Anyway, after that, black goes for e5. This is a, a strong move because if uh, now uh, white captures, black will capture back uh, with the queen and then uh, this pawn is under attack. So after that, white goes back uh, with uh, the knight to a2. Here um, is a mistake for black. Here the best uh, solution was uh, moving uh, the bishop here uh, with a check. Anyway, after that, white goes for uh, bishop e2. Then uh, we have uh, h5 and uh, king b1. Bishop d7 and rook h d1, doubling the rooks onto this file. h4, pushing this pawn forward. And here we have the captures on a5. The queen captures back, and then we have knight 
d4. Now we have rook c8 attacking here on c2. Queen g4 and uh, king f8. F captures on c and uh, here the bishop captures back, attacking the queen on g4. The queen goes back, and here we have rook c5. Here the best move was the queen here to e4. Anyway, after that, we have queen e3, but uh, that's not uh, the best move. After that, uh, black goes for a 5 and uh, here the best uh, solution in this case was uh, moving the king here to g7. Anyway, uh, we have uh, bishop f3, but uh, here the best move was uh, um, capturing with the rook on d6 in uh, this way. This uh, was the best continuation. Anyway, after bishop f3, we have uh, f captures on e4, bishop captures back, and uh, rook c4. But uh, here uh, the best uh, move was uh, uh, moving uh, this rook here. After that, uh, we have uh, uh, bishop d5 attacking the rook and the bishop, bishop f6, and uh, bishop captures on c4. After uh, capturing back, uh, White captures on d6, and here white wins on time after 30 moves.